everybody, welcome to Sean's page. Sean here, and on today's edition, I would like to discuss with you binoculars. These are great for watching your kids' sporting events, watching professional sporting events, birding, hunting, whatever. I want you to meet these three middle of the road pairs. Uh, nothing is over $410 in this mix. And they're going to be some good stuff, and I hope that you will enjoy, and this helps influence your decision if you're out looking for binoculars. You're probably watching this, not so you can see me, but so you can see the binos. Here we go. And we're going to have the Zeiss Terra EDs, the Monarch 5s. These are both in 10 by 42 And I'm throwing in, it's in a different power class, but I'm throwing these in. This is the Vortex Diamondback in 7 by 36 I threw this in here because I think you're going to like the Vortex Binocular a lot. Let's talk about them. Let's do it in alphabetical order. So we'll start with the Nikon. These are in 10 by 42 The objective is 42 You know, you can remember the objective really easy. This is the lens through which you look at an object. Objective lens. Um, they weigh 1 pound 7 ounces and these come in at 326 bucks right now as of today on Amazon. I looked up the prices just before I hit play or record on the camera. Now, these have these little lenses, these little eyepieces that down, depending on the focal length you want, how far away from this glass you want to be, and up. If you wear glasses, you might want to be all the way down. I don't. I like them. I do, but usually I don't wear glasses when I'm out hiking. I put them all the way up. And these are very comfortable inside the eye and looking around. And these are very clear. Uh, a little fringing when it's bright out. Fringing is the edges will become purplish and you really don't look through those. And if nobody tells you about it, you probably won't notice it. Some people are snobs and they say, oh, it fringes. Usually don't look at that edge because you wind up losing a little bit of clarity. There's a sweet spot right in the middle where you can look around. And after that, you move the binoculars, move your head around. Um, and these are a great value and the lifetime no fault warranty. That's fantastic. That means if you're out hiking and you're going to have lunch and you set these down on a thing and you're having lunch and you're on, the, you're on a mountain and, and you knock them over and they bounce down and you go pick them up and they're broken, the glass is broken, this is falled off, fell off, or falled off, really. Uh, send them to Nikon and they will repair or replace them. I've never tried it. I've heard people say they're great. You send them in and within a couple weeks, it's replaced. I've heard people say you call up and they give you a hard time. I don't know, but I do know that's their warranty and it sounds pretty sweet and it's kind of a deal breaker um, compared to what I'm going to show you next, the uh, Zeiss. You know what? Let's not go. Let's go. Let's not go in alphabetical order. Let's go power. Alphabetical order on power. These are both 10 by 42s. Here's the Zeiss. These are 409 bucks currently, 409 and some change on Amazon as of right now. And they weigh one pound 10.11 ounces. Let's call it one pound 11 ounces. Uh, these caps are tight. They're not. They're not this easy. They're. Very stiff. There's supposed to be a stop. I think I feel it right there. Um, it's kind of a drag. I like them all the way out so it doesn't matter so much. You kind of want them to be even and you want to be able to feel it for a definite click. These don't do it. The Vortex does it as well. Uh, good clear glass, very fast focusing, which isn't always great. Fast focusing is pretty nice when you get used to it and you're really good at it. Uh, for a while, what happens is you'll focus past things. You'll focus from blurry, sharp to blurry, and then you have to go back to sharp. Um, with these a little bit slower on the turn, meaning you need more turns to get it from one end to all the way to the other end, uh, it's a slower focus and you'll lock on faster, tighter, I definitely like the way those focus over these. These do not have a tripod adapter or hole mount. There's an adapter you buy, you screw onto here, and then you snap it into a tripod. 
This has it, the little, uh, it says Nikon, that unscrews and there's a screw, there's a hole in there, you can screw on the tripod adapter. This you have to buy a separate adapter, you gotta buy a separate adapter for this, but it kind of velcros over the top of these, it's just kind of flimsy, not really great. Uh, the price, as I said earlier, is $409, they're made in China, they're all made in China, these are not Austrian or German Zeiss, these are Chinese Zeiss, that's why the price is so nice. The warranty is horrible. This is five years, and down the road, if you drop them and smash them, you're on your own. You go out and buy a new pair of eyes. Uh, these ones, I actually sold. I'm waiting to have the buyer come pick them up. Uh, they're great. They're sharp. They're clear. They're not much sharper than this. Maybe no sharper than this. And what decided on who's going to go, because I don't need two 10 by 42 waterproof binoculars, is the warranty. If I break these, I'm out of luck. If I break these, I send them back. The warranty and this thing, which is a big deal for me, but if I hand them off to someone, it may be a big deal for them and we can all use this pair. Now let's go to the 7x36 Vortex. This has another warranty. And people just say it's the best ever. You break them, you send them back, they'll repair them or replace them. This power, the 7x36, is a nice wide field of view for sporting events. If you're watching a hockey game, you can get a lot of the ice out of these binoculars. Whereas these more powerful binoculars are going to focus more tight, you're going to get more of a player rather than an area. This, very, very snappy, right into place. Um, this has the tripod mount the very nice glass. These are super clear. These are so remarkable. They run right next to these and these and they're solid. These feel solid. They're one pound nine ounces which makes them heavier than the Monarchs. They're just Built. You can feel rugged when you pick this up. You can feel like, you know what, they put a big warranty on them because you're not going to break them. You're not going to be sending these back because the little fault may not hurt them. Uh, I've had these for a while. Um, like I said, they discontinued them. So the 8x42s were on uh, Amazon, I think $219, and the 10x42s was another $20, $229 for the 10x42s. Um, I recommend two pairs, one for distance and one for close. And these focal lengths seem okay. You may want to get like a 15 by 50 for your for your close, for your powerful ones. These are very close to this, and I don't know if it's overkill. These are redundant, and uh, with bad warranty. Bad warranty Zeiss. But you can tell your friends, hey, look, you want to borrow my Zeiss? And, oh, the Chinese ones, whatever. But people get all binocular snobs are going to write down below and say how dumb I am for getting rid of the Zeiss. They're so great. Uh, my family, my friends, lots of people have compared these to and nobody could really spot a big difference other than the price and the warranty. So there you have it. Here's three pairs of binoculars. I hope you like them. The Vortex, best warranty in the biz from what I hear. And a solid pair of binoculars. Everything is quality, even the stitching on, on, their, on their logo, on the strap, is quality. These have like silk screened or printed straps, whatever. Uh, these are too new, I haven't even put the strap on, obviously. Um, so here's the Monarchs, Monarch 5, 10 by 42, again 326 bucks currently on, on Amazon. It's got four stops, one, two, three, four, so you can get the nice a nice feel, a nice eye relief, and then the Zeiss, $409 currently, very tight, it's, you may think maybe that feels like quality, but they're just tight, it doesn't feel like they cared, and warranty's bad, clarity, I don't see it, when you're going to check up binoculars at the store, look at something as far away as you can, get a little step stool or one of those stools to see, get over the shelf so you can see over top of displays, look at something as far as you can with these, and adjust your diopter, get them focused, get them all, and go back and forth, and see which ones they are, and then look at something, just look at distance for five or ten minutes, as long as, you know, they don't think you're too obnoxious with the binoculars and tying up too much time but it's your money 
and you want to see if you get eye fatigue. These shouldn't make your eyes tired or sore. If they are, it's not a binocular for you. Quick tip on adjusting the diopter. You first pop off the left, look, focus at something, lettering is the best. Get that focused and tight with this knob, cover it. This is good for people like me who can't wink both their eyes. Pop open the right, and here's the diopter adjustment. Get that in sharp, and then when you pop that, you can focus here and both eyepieces will be identical in sharpness and clarity, and then you will tell if your eyes are getting tired, and you'll know right away they start getting sore. It's uncomfortable to look through the binoculars. Uh, if that's the case, it may not be the one for you. So try them. Monarch 5, Vortex Diamondback, and the Zeist Hera ED. I hope you enjoy. Let me know what you like, and um, give a thumbs up and a subscribe. Click the little bell on the bottom, and that will alert you when I make new videos and post new videos. Thanks for watching. Take care.